to a Nidalee support build. Yes, I said Nidalee support build. Yeah, so why are the five reasons we would play Nidalee at support? Well, she has insane burst potential when she lines up her combo. She has a ton of movement in her cougar form. Her heal and attack speed buff on teammates can become very, very strong as the game goes on. She can snowball into being a carry support if you get a few kills and get your items. And lastly, you can turn into a freaking cougar. I mean, how cool was that? Let's move on to the next portion. I would like to pause this message just to let you know that I am a new league player. I play in low elo, so this support guy will be support for dummies. But I have watched extensive video and I have been playing nonstop for about a couple months now. So you can call this a support guide for new players slash low elo. Please don't flame me too much in the comments. Back to the video. So what do Nidalee's skills do and how can they help you as a support? There's a few reasons that her skills can be really, really good as a support. Um, and her kit says she's a three-star difficulty. She's not, I promise. Very easy. Okay, so what is her passive? Nidalee starts with a rank and aspect of Cougar, which is her ultimate, so you already get a skill point in that. You get 10% movement speed for two seconds when entering Brush. As you can see over here, I run to the Brush. And look, I get a little bit faster. You get 30 seconds of movement speed while moving towards enemy champions. So if there's somebody here, you get 30%. Um, when you hit champions or jungle monster with a jab on toss or a bushwhack, you mark them as hunted for four seconds. While an enemy is hunted, they are revealed with true sight, meaning you can see them. And Nidalee gains 10% movement speed. 30% movement speed when moving toward the hunted enemy. All right, so I'll show that real quick. They're hunted, and I get 30% movement speed towards them. Okay, so... A very very good passive and when people try to run away they just can't get away the w or i'm sorry the q is the javelin toss slash takedown in human form nidalee throws her javelin dealing 474 magic up to almost 1500 damage based on distance thrown which is ridiculous okay so at max distance like that you're doing a thousand damage insane amount of damage okay so bushwhack is a trap that you put in a Bush for two minutes. When an enemy walks over, they are dealt 62 magic damage. Let's see if it'll proc on him. It will. Okay, so it does dot damage, and it marks them as hunted. Lastly, you have a heal that does 377, increase up to 754 based on missing health, and grants 70% attack speed for seven seconds, which is a ridiculous buff. Um, something to note on bushwhack, if you put it in a bush, you get some free vision, so that's really, really nice as well, so you can kind of put it in choke points or put it in some bushes and uh it holds down that area for you so very very nice uh last we have our heal which is primal surge slash swipe so our primal surge is going to heal us a ridiculous amount um it's also going to give us a ton of attack speed so as you can see we're attacking very 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 quickly and i will show you the difference when i don't have it up big difference and you use it boom 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 okay big big difference all right so our ultimate uh, while we're in human form, applying Hunted refreshes the ability's cooldown. Uh, the human form, you transfer it into a cougar. Look how cute. So, what are the cougar abilities? Okay, so, Nidalee's next attack deals an additional 364 plus 1.25 per 1% missing health magic damage. Alright, so it's going to scale really, really high when people are low health. That's basically what that's saying. It's going to do a lot more damage when people are low health. And if the enemy is hunted, meaning you hit them with your javelin, it does 30% more damage, which is a ridiculous amount of damage. The W, uh, you pounce on an enemy dealing 300 magic damage. And surrounding area, okay, so if I can hit both, we'll see. All right, so it didn't quite hit them, but you can hit both. You can hit multiple people. Uh, pouncing at a hunted enemy can be done at a greater distance. So the swipe is, and Italy calls it an enemy in front of her, dealing a lot of damage. Okay, so let's see if we can hit, oops. All right, you can hit both like this. I just do a crap ton of damage. All right, so that is the skills. Now... Let me show you the basic combo of Nidalee. So, here's the idea. In the beginning of the laning phase, all right, you can play in the bushes. You hit your guy, hit your ADC with this, you transform, you jump on them, you E, and then you Q, and then you do a crap ton of damage. All right, so I'll show you again. So you're, you're playing from a bush ideally, so we'll go over here. Okay, so you're in the bush, you hit them with a Q. As soon as you hit them with the hunted thing above their head, you go right into this, W, E, Light attack, Q, and then they're probably going to be dead. Um, so again, I will say it one more time. Q, into your R, into W, E, auto, Q, dead. Okay. 
a lot of damage, and if they really don't die, you hit them with Ignite. Alright, so she does a lot of damage, like a lot of damage. Alright, so let me uh, direct it to myself. So you Q, jump on them, finish them off. Okay, so here's another example. Oops. Okay, so let me rewind that a little bit. Okay. So here's another good example. So I dodge the alt. And I dodge, I go into my cougar form. I hit him with another Q. Alright, so he's hunted. And I go into cougar form and kind of just trade him out. Um, so, basically, you want to just kind of chill in the bushes, so if you're bottom lane over here, um, the idea is to kind of just sit in the bushes here, alright, so you're going to sit in the bushes and attack here, you know, like this, you try to get your picks, and then you can dive and do a lot of damage, okay, so that's the combo, alright, so for runes, we are running Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. For items, what you're going to want to take is World Atlas first. You want to go right into Lich Bane. Then you want to go Sorcerer's Shoes. Then you want to go Shadow Flame. You want to go Zonia's. And then if you can get all the way to Death Cap, why the hell would you not take Death Cap? Okay, so those are the six items. Feel free to change those as you wish. But Nidalee can really, really perform and be a carry support if you get to that point.